jazz, like when you think about when you started the sport, the first time you kind of took part in the long job, the training sessions that you've had throughout, you know, the years, like to do this, like how do you reflect on that? Seven meters is the goal for most female long jumpers. You look at seven meters as sort of a line to cross. You know, we've been I've been looking for the seven meter jump for what feels like forever. It almost doesn't quite feel real. I think you might have seen from my reaction. I was pretty shocked. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it, but also I've been expecting it for years. I just wasn't expecting it right then. Um, it it feels like the belief that I've always had in myself. Like I was justified in that belief. It feels like like I've proved my younger self right. I'm so proud of myself, and I, I'm so happy to also prove the people that have believed in me right. Because there's a lot of people that didn't and that don't. Um, and yeah, this isn't the end of it. This is the um, European Indoor Champs. We've got so much more to come in the next couple of years, but I'm just going to soak in this moment for a sec. There's so many people that have been saying, you know, you've got a seven-meter jump coming. It's it's in there for you. And I'm just, I'm so happy to have proved them right. I was going to say, you can eat Keely right now with the national Cup. You're going to get that in a bit. Like, That's how, wild. Do, how do you feel about that? That's wild. I haven't won anything as a senior ever before. Um, and that's some serious jumping. I beat some very, very, very good athletes. You know, Olympic medalist, Olympic champion. That's, yeah, that's going to be me in a sec. I'm going to sing. Is, is, nice is it sinking in? Is it, is it more shocked? So, you know, I'm still shocked. Said, yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. It's, um, I'm not used to this. I'd like to get used to it. It's pretty nice. Um, but I... It's, Sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm not usually one to not have much to say. I'm not usually one that's short of words. You but... feel like with Munich, like the <laughs> shackles were off after that, you know, the first one in yeah. you know, seven to six years. Munich made a big difference. It, um, it proved to me that I can get back on the podium and it also shifted my mindset. I, I'd always said prior to Munich that I was the sort of person that hated losing more than I loved winning. And that feeling of making the podium at Munich was better than anything I'd ever experienced. It was higher than my lows. That my lows were low, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that feeling has spurred me on. You know, I I was there today after my qualifying yesterday, doing a 671 well within myself. I was here to compete for the gold. Um, I, I didn't honestly. I didn't think seven meters was going to happen today. I thought I could scrape an outright PB, so maybe a 91, 92. But I'm so happy. And finally, for me, I know you got the ceremony in a bit of a second, but you know, two gold medals in the space of about two minutes. I mean, that's London 2012 essentially. It was wild, isn't it? And it was so nice to have Keely right there on the track to uh, to give her a hug. She's somebody that I love on the team. Um, she's always uh, she's an inspiration, you know. As, and she's such a younger athlete, but she's somebody that I really look up to. Um, I watch the way she conducts herself, the way she competes, and I take a lot from that. Um, and to have her there to, to give me a give me a hug as soon as I was done was just and to be able to give her a hug because she's done it again. She's amazing. Um, it's it, it gets me excited about the rest of the year, not just for me but for the sport. Um, but I'm excited for me right now. I'm going to just be excited.